Hello friends, this is Digger Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So, in this video, I will show you how to find factorial of a given number. Okay, so let me add one class here in this project. So, I am going to add one class, new item. I will provide the name of this class as fact num. Okay, or something factorial. Okay, so I have provided one name. So my class is created successfully. Now I am going to write the logic for this. Okay. So first I need to create one. So I am going to create my main method in this class. So SVM double tab. So my method is created successfully. Guys, if you want to increase your typing speed, just watch my video that I have already created how to work with the Visual Studio to increase your speed. I am giving the link in the iCard so you can check that video. Okay, so now my program is going to start. So I am going to start my program. So I am creating two variables here, integer type, suppose one is num and another one is fact. Okay, so fact variable I will use to uh, find out the factorial. So I am just assigning value one here. So I need to ask user to provide input. So I will say like enter number, enter a number, okay, like that. And that number, provided number, I want to assign into the num variable. So I will say console dot read line. So I need to convert this number into the integer type. So for that, I need to use convert dot to int dot to int thirty two. After that, how to find out the factorial of a given number? First, understand. Let's suppose I want to find out the factorial of 5. So I will get answer as 120. So to find out the factorial of 5, I need to do this operation. So 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Okay, as we can see here, so I'm multiplying from the beginning of the number. So it is starting from 1 till the number. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, if I want to find out the factorial of 6, so I have to multiply into 6 also in this number. Okay, so 1 into 2 is equal to 2 and 2 into 3. So this is the number and 2 into 3 is 6. So now this number 6 into 4 is equal to now this number and now 24 into 5. So here 1 into 2 is equal to 2 like that we will get answer as 120. So for the same thing, I want to write my logic. Okay, so I need for loop for this. So suppose integer i is equal to 1 to uh, i less than equal to num i plus plus. Okay, so this is done. So what I need to do here, suppose I am having a fact variable. Okay, so what I am doing here, fact is equal to fact into i. So I am doing multiply by i here. Okay, so it is always starting from 1. So so first time it will be 1 so the factory fact value is 1 and 1 into 1 is equal to it will get only suppose it will get only 1 so it will come to the next time so, okay so the second time so the second time value will be like 2 okay so the third time it will get the value is 6 like that it will work okay so we will get our output like that okay so the same thing I am doing here. Just uh, break, use the breakpoint and execute your program line by line, so you will get clear output. Okay, so you don't have any doubt. Just use breakpoint in your program and debug your program carefully. You will get your answer. Okay, what I want next in here. So I need I need to show the result. So console console dot write line. Okay. So I can say factorial of I will say here so I am having num is I will say fact okay so this one I need to do and what I do need to do here again console dot read line so that I can show you the output so I need to do one thing here before running so I need to set up for the startup project. So this is the logical program, factorial program. 
I want to execute so the factorial. Okay, now run this program. So now I am going to run it. Logical program. I need to provide the number. Suppose I am going to find out the factorial of 5. So the same number I will get output as 120. If I want to find out the factorial of 6, it we will get output uh, 6 of factorial of 6 is 720. Like that. So guys, this is very simple program. You need to write just this much of code. Only one line of code is required for you make sure don't forget this value should not start from zero it always start from one otherwise it will if you will make this zero then it will it will give you output as zero so make sure this factorial uh, value must start from one okay so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubt any question or any suggestion just comment me so I will respond to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next video. Guys, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. You can follow me on my Facebook page. This is the blog URL. So I will provide you both of the link in the description of this video. Thank you, guys.